In this video, I'm going to be teaching probability um, likely questions that you are going to be expecting in the BC 2020 exams. And I want you to carefully observe as we solve this question because if you follow us to the end, I can assure you every question that comes on probability, you are going to be able to solve it. Now, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click all notifications so that you can get updates as we release these questions. Now, the first question says, a bag contains two red and three white balls. If a ball is picked at random from the bag, what is the probability that it is red? Okay, now, how many red balls do we have? We have um, two red. And how many white balls do we have? We have what? Three white. Now, what is the total number of balls? Total number of balls. So, we have... Um, we have um, three, two red plus three white. So that's two plus three. That will give us a total of what? Five. In this video, we have five balls. Two are red and three are white. Now, what is the chance or what is the probability that it is a red ball that you pick? Now, for probability of red, that means you do what? How many reds available? Two over the total. And that will give us what? Five. So our final answer is two over five. So that's correct. C is the correct answer. Now, what if you were asked what is the probability of picking a white ball? So that means white ball is going to be what? Three over five. But now we are not asked for the probability of white. So we stick to our answer. Okay, the next question below says... Um, the probability that Ada passes her mathematics examination is 1 over 6. What is the probability that she fails her examination? Now, if Ada passing, Ada passing, it's what? 1 over 6. Therefore, probability of Ada, this is PR, Ada failing, will be what? 1 minus probability of ADA passing. You get that? So, if ADA passing is going to be 1 over 6, therefore ADA to fail will be what? 1 minus 1 over 6. So, this is going to give us 1 minus probability of ADA passing will be what? 1 over 6, which is the same thing as you take your LCM, that's 6. 6 into 1 is 1. 6 times 6 is 6 minus 6 divided by 6 is 1 times 1 is 1. So this is going to give us 5 over 6. So our final answer here, it's 5 over 6. And that's the correct answer. What is the probability that a pregnant woman will give birth to a boy? Now, how many child could anybody have? You could either have a boy or a girl. And that's what? An outcome of 2. So there are two possible outcomes. A boy or a girl, which is two possible outcomes. Okay, so there are two possible outcomes. Either whenever a woman gives birth, she can give birth to a boy or she can give birth to a girl. Now, what is the probability that the woman will give birth to a boy? For probability of having a boy, it's going to be what? One out of two. So that's our final answer. Likewise, the probability of having a girl is going to be what? 1 over 2. So the correct answer here is going to be B. Now, um, we're going to be talking about the final question. If a coin is thrown twice, which of the following will not be an outcome? Now, what is a coin? If you've seen a coin, maybe an old in this coin, it can be flipped. A coin has either two sides. A coin has either a head, which is called H, or tail, which is called T. So, it's either you have a head the first time you throw it, and the second time you have a head, head, or you have a tail, tail, or you have a head, tail, or you have what? A tail, head. It could come out in any of these four. So now, it says, if a coin is thrown twice, which of the following will not be an outcome now? Head, head is correct. We have it here. This is three outcomes. So remember, the coin was thrown how many times? Two times. So this is the wrong answer. So the one that will not be an outcome, it's uh, B. 
So B is the correct answer. Now the other one is still tail. We have this here. The other one is still head. We have this here. And we have head tail. We have this here. So the one that has three outcomes is wrong because our dice was thrown. Our coin was thrown twice. Now I'm going to introduce a, a final question. Um, let's say question five. If a dice is thrown, thrown, what is the probability? Okay, I want you to see this question because this is another likely question. What is the probability of obtaining obtaining a four? Now, what is a dice? If you've ever played the game called Ludo, you know that um, what you roll is called a dice. And you know a dice has six faces. And the possible outcomes, possible outcomes of a dice are what? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Therefore, we have a six possible outcomes. So you could either see a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. So the probability of obtaining what? A 4 will be what? 1, that's this 4, just one of it out of what? 6. So that's the probability of obtaining a 4. Now, if you understand this concept, probability is going to be an easy question for you in this basic 2020. And uh, please do not forget to like the video if it has helped you. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to click the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get more topical videos from us. Stay tuned.